One of the most common questions is, can I take my Webflow website and move it over to WordPress? Now, if you've been following along my channel, you know I'm not a huge WordPress fan. I prefer to host all my websites on Webflow and I love their CMS, but there are clients who insist on having their website on WordPress. And in that case, I do have to deliver it somehow. And so I usually export the code, move it over to developers who then connect it into WordPress. And that's frustrating and it also costs me money because I have to pay other developers to set up the WordPress. But uh, somebody over on Instagram uh, a couple of days ago shared with me an app that seems to be doing that for you. And so I gave it a try today. It's called Udacity. And I want to share the process with you because it might be something that can help you if your clients also insist on having their website hosted on WordPress. And I'll, I'll discuss why I don't like doing this uh, in more depth at the end of the process. But the way Udacity works is it's a desktop app. You download it and you export the, the website from uh, Webflow. So you download the exported code, you uploaded it into the desktop app, and then you have to kind of set it up and it transforms it into a theme, a WordPress theme. Now, in order for that to work correctly, before you export the code, you have to define or give custom attributes to each one of the elements in, in, in Webflow so that, you know, uh, WordPress understands how to correlate them. What is a post, what is a, a title, what is an element that you can customize later on. This is a process that is quite time consuming and I'm at this stage, I don't really understand all the WordPress attributes. So I have to learn this. I'm gonna invest some time to learning how to do this. So it's a bit of a time consuming. It's not just a download and upload kind of thing because you have to set it up. You have to define how this works. After you do that though, you uploaded it into the Udacity app, it converts it into a theme which you can then download and upload on your WordPress site and it seems to work. Again, I haven't taken the time to fully customize and add all the attributes. Uh, Udacity has a lot of tutorials on their website but it seems like I have to watch 15 videos in order to understand all the parameters. So you might want to do this, you might not want to do this. I do think though that for me personally, it's probably worth the one hour it will take me to study this rather than have to pay the developers to connect my, my websites into WordPress because I don't like doing this. So I, me personally, I'm going to take the time to learn how to do this and I'm probably going to add this whole section of how you should do this as a tutorial on my uh, masterclass on, Word, on uh, <laughs> Webflow by the way, if you haven't joined it, uh, check the link in the description. There's still a few more days to get into the early access of the full Webflow Masterclass. So it will be, there will be a part dedicated to transferring your website into WordPress, but I will have to dedicate the time to learn that. So I will probably do that in the upcoming days. Now, just to conclude as to why I don't like doing this, even just taking the time to experiment with this app, I had to set up a new WordPress website. I had to install it, I had to set it up, I have to, you know, again, download the theme, upload a theme. This is so time consuming and then I'm thinking later I have to transfer this into my clients. It's not very seamless. The way that I work now when I set up the, uh, the Webflow CMS, it's so easy to just set it up, have it working on my own servers and then just transfer it by clicking on a button, you know, transfer a website and it's all set up. I don't have to do anything. The CMS makes, you know, everything editable visually. So for me personally, I'm going to stick to the Webflow CMS, but for my clients who insist, I'm probably going to use Udacity to convert it and then send them uh, my project as a theme. All right. Hope this was useful for you. I will catch you tomorrow.